Hello friends, welcome back. Well, uh, in my last video, we have uh, seen how to uh, create all uh, the VMs required uh, for the enterprise uh, Jenkins or uh, Jenkins Enterprise and the Jenkins uh, Jenkin, uh, Operation Center and the slave which we are going to use, a uh, separate slave. Uh, well, um, you must know that uh, uh, we can run the slave uh, as a separate VM inside the uh, same uh, VM where we are running the enterprise as well. But uh, for best practices, we have uh, we are going to use a separate VM uh, uh, outside the enterprise uh, uh, Jenkins, and that I'm going to use as uh, my um, slave. Okay, so here uh, as we see. Uh, you can see that all my uh, three VMs are running and now uh, let's go and install uh, the Jenkins software uh, enterprise uh, cloud-based Jen Jenkins software okay so here I just double clicked and uh, here I have created a small note uh, how to install uh, Jenkins I'll uh, make this uh, file available um, on my blog you can just download and uh, just uh, just copy paste so so here uh, first thing first is uh, okay here I have given uh, how to install uh, uh, Marv, uh, the the maven as well and uh, here uh, let's go and install uh, our Jenkins so first thing is uh, let's install uh, the repo repository where we have to we are going to download the Jenkins enterprise the cloud bees so i'm going to add that report to my vm so this is for uh, the, i'm see here jenkins enterprise server right so here i'm going to run as sudo uh, sudo wget that will download this repo and it will port into uh, my vm repo here let's see em repo D and Jenkins repo. It will create one password. It has downloaded. Now I have to add a key again. Okay, so I have to import the key and uh, put that into my repo. Uh, so here I just copy this. Here you, you see that why I chosen uh, the um, party it will be easier for you to uh, just copy paste okay so here I just copy and right click it will just paste all right enter that's all and that's all actually and just after adding the repo just you have to just download the Jenkins and uh, the using yum as any other package right so here after doing that just uh, okay i have to add here i think the yum um, the after adding the key what you do is do the yum install so here the fourth sudo yum install sudo yum install Jenkins okay so uh, this will download the package Jenkins package because we have now pointed our uh, repo yum repo to uh, Jenk cloud Beats, so it will download it will not download the open source but it will download uh, the cloud Beats enterprise server okay so here just uh, copy this and paste uh, so that it will be i'm just i'm um, creating that uh, file so that it will be easier for anybody just to copy paste just so why here i can put on y again so that you don't have to press again the y
Well, uh, now it is installed. Now just start it with the system uh, control start. Just okay. Now our uh, Jenkins started. Now open the browser. Just open the browser and go to our IP 192.168.0.41 <coughs> so for, this is 41 or 42 which one is this this is server right so so here this is uh, 41 right so here now 4184 you see that now we can access the Jenkins Cloud B Jenkins Enterprise. Welcome to Cloud B Enterprise. And now it is asking to activate. So license, you still don't have the license, right? So you can click here to request a trial license and start the evaluation. You just either click here or start evaluation. You just can do it here. So request a trial license. So once you click this, uh, it will ask you a, uh, uh, to enter your detail. Uh, something uh, I have done it already. So I have requested a license. So and once uh, you you see that start a free trial. You give your first name, last name, email ID, email address, and the company. You can just uh, maybe put a personal. Um, use kind of thing so just learning so I have given as uh, personal learning you can put this a personal learning okay so that uh, they know that you are using for your uh, learning purpose and not for any commercial and this will valid for uh, 14 days right so here I have already a license with me uh, so use I can just click here that use a license key so here uh, you can just uh, okay after uh, you send the request they will send a uh, license to your email ID so I can call it here cloud B here, if you see that, I, I just received a license key here. So this is the private key and just copy this entire starting from here. The entire content copy, control C and put it here as the license key and see that your you don't put an extra space or something like that then the next the certificate put that start here and here i'll delete the extra space okay so end certificate here if you see that begin the certificate and I am okay now click accept and the submit okay so here it tells me that because I have already uh, installed in one server so it does not allow that uh, it is uh, it belongs to another uh, server okay so here I'll, I'll cancel this okay so now uh, we learned that how to install our uh, Jenkins uh, enterprise server, right? So with uh, this, now uh, I'm going to stop this server here and uh, I am going to run which I already installed in my system here. So just I am going to stop this server in it zero. Uh, this is a uh, Okay, just uh, type in it sudo in it zero, it will stop. Okay, so here uh, you see that my Jenkins and Pi server stopped. So, what I have is here previously, uh, 
here I created my uh, Jenkins Enterprise Server, right? So, and I have different IP obviously to that. Uh, let's see what IP I give. So uh, I'm going to run that and I'm going to continue from that uh, in my uh, demo. Uh, well, you can do the same thing with the operation center. Only difference will be the key and the repo. So next I'm going to do the same thing with the to install, let this run and I'm going to now uh, install the operation center. Just run here and add the key first and uh, add the key. Add it. So now the add the repo. Let's add it. Now just do a yum install Jenkins OC. Okay, operation center. Okay, so here it is going to install the Jenkins operation center. Well, uh, that's all about it and about the installing of uh, the Enterprise uh, Jenkins Server and uh, the Jenkins Operation Center, right? So uh, that's all about it. Here, after installing, I'm going to start the server with the command uh, system control start Jenkins OC. So let it download and install. Well, okay, uh, now I'm going to start it. Start it. Now, same thing, uh, go to the browser. And here, the IP address 192.168.0.42. And here, port number is 8888. Okay, so I'm going to access this. Uh, if you see that, the Cloud B Jenkins Operation Center is able to access the console and it will again ask me same thing the uh, license okay so you have to again request a license for this uh, maybe you, uh, you you if you have enterprise license you can just uh, add it or you can uh, request for a evaluation license for 14 days so here same thing request a trial license or use a license key if you license key same thing and it will not allow me again because I have already installed right so here I'm going to again stop it. Uh, okay, so here I stop the server. Now both my old, uh, the new uh, server which I installed, both are and the slave also I'm going to stop here. Okay, um, that means uh, I'm not going to use what just I created. I'll, I'm going to use all those servers which I already created. I created actually uh, yesterday uh, for preparing uh, the complete flow of uh, my uh, demo here. So here I'm going to um, run and uh, slave. Jenkins slave. I'm running uh, the servers which I created. Okay. Well, uh, I have to tell you here one thing that you see that I have changed actually the configuration of my server after uh, creation of the VMs. I'm now going, uh, okay, this is 4 gig. Am I using the same configuration? Okay, 4 gig. I think I didn't change. Okay, so uh, here you can actually change if you want to uh, after installation or uh, any time you can uh, change the configuration of any server if you want. Like uh, edit virtual machine settings. You, if you want what more uh, RAM, like eight gig and maybe four processors. Uh, so you you can always do that. Eight now it will be. Uh, running faster and uh, more processing power, more memory. 
Well, I'm not going to use that now. So uh, now my uh, all the three VMs. Well, I'm going to also uh, start my artifact free server, which I created. I'm going to uh, take another video how to install uh, artifact free server and how to run that and how to uh, work with CloudBees uh, Jenkins Enterprise. And also same thing, I have done the Enterprise RP Artifact Resolver. I have uh, taken a, um, a demo license or uh, the uh, learning license. So uh, you can do the same thing. You have to install it. You have to uh, request for a uh, trial license for Artifact Resolver if you want to run. I have done that already. So I'm going to, and uh, now I'm not going to do that. Oh. So now we saw uh, how to install Jenkins Enterprise. Jenkins operation and slave. So here uh, I'm going to just uh, show the demo 192. So here 41 is the Jenkins enterprise. And now, well, I'll tell you how to create users. Later, I have already created, uh, allowed my uh, root user to able to log in. So here, I, now my, if you see, uh, my Jenkins uh, enterprise is running and I have created uh, uh, some uh, uh, examples, okay. Now, let's, uh, I am going to also, uh, okay, I have, I previously gave, uh, I think, uh, my enterprise uh, operation center, I gave 50. IP address, so here, operation center, I gave root, password. Okay, uh, so now you see that uh, my Jenkins uh, operation center is running. Uh, this is operation center and this is Jenkins enterprise. Both are running, I have already configured them, but what I'll do is I'll remove all the configurations and uh, I'll uh, start uh, new. Uh, I'll st I remove all the configurations right away, and I uh, remove all the users as if I have it is a fresh install. Then uh, in my next video, I'm going to um, start again building uh, and configuring those uh, servers uh, to so uh, I can you I can create new users out. I'll, I'll uh, allow uh, the uh, users. Um, like Unix users, the Linux users uh, will be able to log in. Uh, well, I don't have a AD server configuration here, but I, I can always do that by uh, going to manage Jenkins and configure the system. I can uh, create and I can add uh, different uh, plugins for different environments. So we'll see that in my later videos, uh, how to install different plugins and uh, how to uh, configure all these uh, two servers, okay? So with that, uh, I stop here. We'll uh, see in my next video. Thank you.